Guantanamo Bay is a violation of human rights. Guantanamo Bay is evil. Free Omar. Imprisonment of Omar de Gaze because I think that uh, the fact that he has a family that he uh, needs to go back and see, and the fact that it's morally wrong, uh, should be recognised as uh, a, uh, an international problem. The idea of defending our civil liberties in our way of life, infringing on other people's civil liberties just doesn't make sense. It wouldn't work. It doesn't work. It's probably more of a threat to our society than any terrorism. Plain wrong, to be honest, there's people being detained for absolutely no given reason. <laughs> yeah. Usually due to just their ethnicity, which is just a complete abuse of human rights. I mean, I saw two documentaries on it before, and it's, a, it's just a big abuse of power by the Americans, to be honest, man. It's sort of like a soundbite of some, some guard at the gates saying, uh, well, being asked why aren't these people given prisoners' rights for being treated in such barbaric conditions as everyone knows, being kept in open sun, not given any water. Um, they said they should they should have prisoners' rights, and he said, well, these people aren't classified as prisoners, like, so they don't have prisoners' rights. So they asked him what are they classified as, and there was this really, really dirty smirk on his face when he uttered the answer, detained personnel. Okay, um... Basically, the treatment in Guantanamo Bay, I feel, is is entirely unjust. It's inhuman, and I, I oh God, I don't. It's completely against all international uh, human rights laws, such as the Geneva Convention. Um, and I think, as oh, I don't know, as rational, autonomous human beings uh, with the ability to affect some change, it's absolutely our right to be there at the Save Omar Festival and to affect any change we can, whether it's writing letters, giving money, anything, because uh, the British government aren't doing what they should be, and it's their responsibility as well as ours. Tom Bay is an absolute travesty. Every single person has the right to a trial. Um, from my understanding, certain prisoners are being force fed, and that's a disgrace and a breach of human rights. And Against it. I oppose Guantanamo Bay because it displays our society's willingness to negotiate with its own values, extolling the values of civilization whilst discarding them whenever it suits our purposes. Well, essentially, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realise that um, what's happening with Guantanamo Bay is you know, a really expansive um, deficit. I mean, yeah, it's not like wearing a badge like the uh, 727, just creates awareness so that people know what is actually happening away from, you know, like, cancer yeah, side, what's happening, which is really, really nice. So, yeah, the, uh, the effect is not having on people's lives, but uh, by joining groups such as Anderson. I oppose Guantanamo Bay because it is completely illegal in the world to look up people such as Irma de Gajas for four years or longer without charging them. I suppose Guantanamo Bay because it sets a very bad example for any society to follow. And now that if we have the West as the control of the world right now, <coughs> then uh, it's just simply ridiculous to think that this is the best that humanity can do in treating uh, the troubles. La cárcel de Guantánamo es el mismo del gobierno estadounidense que, capaz de coger y dar su propia ley, su propio territorio, la mete en Cuba, donde siempre se ha estado quejando de la falta de derechos de los pueblos. Um, I just feel that every single human has the right to a free trial and to know why they're being detained. And Guantánamo Bay goes against universal human rights. And for a country, especially a country such as America, to put this forward is just completely unacceptable. How can a country that preaches democracy, freedom, equality and human rights do something such as this? It's just boring. I am completely against Omar being in Guantanamo Bay. People in Guantanamo Bay get treated as so they're not even human. It's, it's disgusting and it's disgraceful and he doesn't deserve that. And the fact that he used to go to this university, it shouldn't make much difference to what we do and how we act, but it does. The fact that, you know, we could have walked past him a trillion times and he's in Guantanamo Bay, it's insane. And it's completely 
unethical, it's immoral, and he's been tortured for goodness sake. No one knows what goes on there. Not, you know, we, we've heard a few things, but we haven't heard everything, and it freaks me out. It really freaks me out. It's important that we do something. It's important that we unite. It's important that we have solidarity here at, at you know at university, and we basically say no. We, you know, this can't go on. Not just not just for Omar, but for everyone there. You know, it's just completely wrong, um, and I feel really strongly about it. Obviously, the concerns for the is based on the fact that to incarcerate someone without charge contravenes the very foundation of the democracy we claim to have in the Western world. And to say that we are fighting for the sake of the cause of democracy and then to go and try and justify this is completely... It, the, the two points are completely incongruous. They do not smell, they do not gel. And for that reason alone, if any other reason, if there are no other reasons at all, this is why it is crucial that Guantanamo Bay is closed. It's just, it's, it totally appalls me that everyone can be put in this box where we're all just getting along apparently and then suddenly we're all putting people in prison and it's total shit that everyone is apparently of this part of the war on terrorism. We're trying to stop them from doing what they want to do and um, basically I, I can't imagine a world where we all have this situation and we're locked away. We can't think what we want to think because we're all against the, the terrorism of a certain subsection of people. It's a total nightmare to me that what is one person's freedom should be another person's terrorism. We have our lives are our own and we, we have a right to say what we want to say. And if you can't say what you want to say, then actually we're nowhere. We've lost our freedom. And I'm quite scared about the fact that we are now lost, lost in a world without freedom. Hi, I don't support the Omar campaign. <laughs>